Alrighty guys, I got a quick Tackle Warehouse unboxing to get into, so let's dig in real quick. Let's do this. Alrighty guys, I'm in my garage, so sorry about the lighting, but first thing first here, we got a Lake Fork Hissy Fit. So this is supposed to be like a top water lure here. It's got like a jitterbug style lip to it in the front, uh, a little two prong treble hook in the back, and then the screw lock where you can screw in your own kind of worm and to make it look like a snake. So I'm um, pretty cool. I'm kind of really interested about that. So there's the Lake Fork hissy fit. Um, just in a black color and it doesn't say the weight on there. I think it may be like a half ounce or three eighths. It doesn't feel very heavy. Up next, something I'm really excited about. This is the Doomsday D Hop in Black Betty, the topwater frog. It's got four skirts, or I guess I should say two skirts, one in the back like a normal frog, and then one through the middle. Kind of looks like a bird too. I'm really excited about that. That looks really, really nice, man. Very cool. Up next here, um, this is pretty interesting. This is a Rapala jig box. This is the small one. You guys can read right there. So you got you flip this open here, and then you got a spot for jigs, and then stuff for like soft plastics with hooks on them, or just your regular hooks. And then it's the same on the other side as well. So that, I thought that was really cool, interesting. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on how it works. But if you're just traveling somewhere and you don't want to bring a lot of stuff or whatnot, that's a really cool idea. I really like that. Up next here, this is a Mega Bass Grand Siglet, if I'm saying that right. This is like the... Alrighty guys, the next thing in my box here is this Mega Bass Mega Bass Louie here called the Grand Siglet, if I'm saying that right. A very, very light lure, uh, one fourth ounce, and the length is like one and a quarter inch, I think, or something like that. Very, very small. But to uh, represent one of those little bugs, I forget the name of them. They start with a C, but they are, they're always in the trees and they always make that really loud, buzzy noise. And this thing in the water, I tested it out, and it acts just like the pompadour. The pompadour and the pompadour junior has the same action, and it swims backwards. You know, the, the eyelets in the back here. Really good, good action on this thing. It's even got fuzz on the bottom, too. So cool, and it's got a just a two prong treble on the bottom there. So there, that is very cool little lure. And then something about this Doomsday Frog here is it actually doesn't come with a hook, which I did not know. So it's just the frog, and you put your own hook in there. So whether it's a single hook, it looks like that's what it's made for. Or you could probably rig up a frog cook as well, but that's something I did not know, so kind of interesting, but I really like the feel of it. It's really squishy. It's not really like a, ho a hollow body frog. Uh, it's a little different. I'm not sure what material that is, but it's like a rubber. Really squishy, but uh, very interesting. Reminds me of a bird, if a bird would fall in the water. Very nice, though. So just remember the Doomsday Frog here does not come with a hook. And then here is that uh, Hissy Fit bait rigged up. I just threw this on just to show you guys what it would look like with a tail. I mean that's a big ribbon tail worm there and green pumpkin but that's something I probably wouldn't use. I'd use something a little smaller profile but 
And there's the lip and the closer detail. Looks like the head of a snake in that diamond shape there. And then the last bait over here was a fly that I have tied on on a pole already, but it's a a jig hair fly in half ounce in just a shad pattern, which had really nice action. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing here. And if you guys could, please leave me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. And I did just make an Instagram page too, so if you guys aren't able to watch a lot of videos, I will start being active on Instagram, which is the same as my YouTube name, MadMat32192. So please give me a follow on there, guys, and stick around, and I'll be back with more. Thanks for watching.